What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video. I hope you're all doing fantastic out there, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friend, should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on, everybody. That is correct. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump into this. Going over more of your feedback from previous videos, going over your comments, and uh, you know, amplifying your message of what you had to say. Now, this was in regards to that 60% acceptance rate, 60% uh, uh, acceptance rate requirement from Bite Squad. Now, a lot of people thought that, oh my God, this could be DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats. <sighs> Thankfully, as of right now, the, we the, this is not the case. But I will tell you. I, this gets me a little concerned. So this is what you guys had to say. John Frank said, gig work has become a war between drivers and the platforms they operate under. How can they force you to take orders that are not profitable? You know, John, I feel exactly the same way. If we are truly independent contractors, which keep in mind, Bite Squad originally was a W-2 employee-based uh, job. Uh, but now, uh, I believe, yeah, ever since 2020, they switched over to 1099 independent contractor. Uh, so I, I, I'm on the same page with you. I'm on the same page. If we are technically like running our own business underneath their platform, how should we be expected to take those kinds of orders? Anthony Johnson says, that's very funny. As an independent contractor, using my own vehicle and carrying all responsibilities and risk, I will accept only orders that meet my criteria. I consistently hold a single digital acceptance rating. If this is truthful, I will gladly accept my deactivation. Well said, Anthony, and I'm sure a lot of people out there would agree with you on this particular topic. Uh, Sheila Melton was the one that said, Bite Squad went 1099 around the beginning of 2020. So I guess right before the pandemic really broke out. Uh, but they told me they were still keeping their policies and practices for accepting orders. Uh, when they were a W-2, their policy was you had to accept every order sent to you, regardless of how much it paid or how far you had to drive. So this is why I quit driving for them after a year. Bite Squad has always been tough to work for. This article doesn't surprise me in the least. Uh, for your information, uh, Waiter acquired Bite Squad in 2019. Right, exactly. And, and this is the issue that is just an ongoing thing. It really is. Uh, Henry's Journey says, please tell me this isn't for GA. When they say GA, I think they mean Georgia. Uh, how can they make us take orders if we're independent contractors? I'm not taking those low offers. That's exactly what I'm saying. I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't understand. Like, are they allowed to actually set minimums like that? And then you could be eligible for deactivation or up for deactivation if you go below the threshold of 60%. I don't know, man. CJ Media says 60% acceptance. Wow. They must really want to get rid of the contracted employee situation. CJ could not agree with you more. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, I just feel like they're really, really overstepping the boundaries here, you know? Janine Iorio or Iorio says, it just really sucks. A lot of time in mornings and lunch during the beginning of the week, I get a, low, a lot of low ball offers with high miles. You have no choice but to decline, especially with gas almost 350. And I made it to the end of the video. Thank you, Janine. Yeah, man, I, I heard in some states that the gas prices were getting up to like either near $4 or some were hitting $4. So actually right now, if you guys could just take two seconds in the chat or the comment section down below, just tell me what the gas prices are for you. In New York, I think it was like three, yeah, I think it was like 340 a gallon, 350 a gallon for regular. And angry it's a gift, longtime viewer said, that's going to be everyone, that's going to be the everyone goes home. Not only drivers, but also the app that will put that limit. You know, I'm telling you, man, it's just, this overall is just a, a, a nightmare just waiting to get worse. And I'm sorry, man, it's just, it's gonna, these, these companies, if they continue down this path, 
they are literally just going to keep losing more and more and more drivers. Yes, more drivers will sign up, but there will come a time in years to come where drivers may come, may be hard to come by. Just saying. So with that being said, everybody, if you guys ever have a topic, a question, a story, uh, you know, an article, send it over to me by email. Paid to drive stories at gmail.com is the best way to reach me. Uh, or you guys can reach out and message me through Patreon for a quicker response. Patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. If you guys uh, want to sign up and anyone who does sign up as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm going to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux. Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Reisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Jenny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to sign up, links down below. Who's going to be the next patron? I don't know. Could be you. Let's find out. And I hope every single one of you guys out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. Gas prices are going up, guys. Link is in the description. Scroll down to where it says Get the Free Gas app and you will be good to go. It'll show you how to install it on whatever kind of phone you have. And then what you do from there is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or a family member uh, signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, you guys should go know where to go by now. PayToDriveStore.com is the place for you, my friends. Links in the description of the pin top comment. We have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. For all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, PayToDriveStore.com is the place for you. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Leave a comment right now saying end 152. END152 just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, everybody, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. As always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.